Welcome in Debian users and all other Linux users. So one of the reasons that you're using Debian is because you want a stable system that works today as it had worked yesterday, as it had worked last month. You want a dependable system. And are you satisfied? Do you have FOMO? I mean, do you have fear of missing out? I don't think so. But do you miss some software? Let me give you an example. Let's go to my terminal here. So sudo apt install YouTube DLP. So this is the software uh, which I use for downloading my own videos so I can um, re-upload them to PeerTube and stuff like that. So YouTube DLP dash dash version which will tell you that this version is 2025.04.30. Uh, so what this means is uh, pretty obvious, but what I'm trying to say with this is that this tool needs constant, constant updates. So Debian as an operating system is not exactly the best, uh, the best uh, distribution to cater to users like me, uh, because Things like YouTube DLP as they need to constantly be updated and Debian doesn't give you any updates for two years, you know, so you have to go fishing around uh, other kinds of ways to acquire the software that constantly needs to be updated because YouTube DLP will uh, stop working because YouTube finds workarounds to block it and then the developers of this application needs to, um, it's, a, it's a cat and mouse game, right? But have I really been sincere about Debian not being the good um, distribution for users like me? No, I, I kind of lied. So let me go ahead and show you something. Um, apt install YouTube DLP and let's go with uh, Trixie backports here. Okay. So what is happening now, I am now pulling the same software from Trixie Backports and if we do version here, now we are on uh, the new version, the latest one. So what, what, what just happened? Let me show you here. Okay, so Trixie Backports or Debian Backports um, in general, what this means, um, how, how Debian works, this is important. You have SID. Debian SID is a sort of like a rolling distribution, but in general, you're not supposed to pay attention much, uh, in my opinion, to this particular version of Debian. Uh, what most Debian users want is a very stable operating system. And by stable, I don't mean that kernel is crashing. It's not crashing. What stable means is that you can develop for this platform without anything changing um, in the underlying packages. So for the lifetime of Debian 13, you can be absolutely sure that whatever software you are developing will be working properly on Debian 13. There will be no um, meaningful changes underneath your software that you're placing on top of Debian 13. Uh, and I'm repeating the word 13 because Debian 14 is definitely not going to be the same as Debian 13. So if you're developing for Debian 13, you're good for the following five years for sure because you're getting all of the security updates. Um, but the stability remains. Uh, what backports are basically the maintainers of packages, for example, such as 0AD, this is a video game, um, they are putting new versions of software into the next version of Debian, which starts with Debian SID, then trickles down slowly to Debian testing. And in the end, in the last like half a year before the release of the next Debian, um, then the te both testing and uh, unstable, which is SID, are going to become the next Debian stable. Uh, but what it, this means for you as a current user of Debian stable, this means that you can get back 
ported versions of new software which are already available in the uh, future versions of Debian uh, Unstable and Testing, but you can get it uh, compiled with your own versions of libraries in the stable versions of Debian. If that's a whole lot of mumbo jumbo technical words, then all that you need to take out from whatever you hear in my video is that Backports is something that gives you newer software if you need it. I'm going to put a little bit more emphasis of on if you need it because there is a lot of stuff in Backports, but you are not supposed to install everything from Backports. More, more likely you're going to break something if you do that. What Backports is for is exactly what I have demonstrated. If you have this one application where you really need a newer version, you are most probably going to be able to get it from backports. Uh, if we scroll down a little bit, you can see what is um, available in, in backports. Uh, for example, um, Butterfile system, you can get newer version because you can also get newer versions of kernel. Um, once again, I don't necessarily recommend that you just go ahead and download the latest version of kernel for your Debian 13, just because you can, uh, but because you have new versions of hardware that simply doesn't work on 6.12, which ships with Debian 13. So for someone who has like RDNA 4 graphics card, uh, you're probably going to benefit uh, by loading up the latest kernel. But, you know, other than that, uh, pay attention to how well your hardware is supported with 6.12, because that kernel is going to be a lot more supported uh, than this one. This one is going to be obsolete uh, in a month or two, and then you're going to be forced to download the next one and the next one and uh, etc. until Debian 14 comes out. Uh, we have some cargo here, Rust package manager, this is a really moving target, so uh, if you are a Rust um, developer and you're working on Debian, this might be interesting uh, for you. Let's just scroll quickly like cockpit, uh, this might be interesting uh, for some of you system administrators. Uh, what else can we see here? The new version of curl might be interesting for you, might not, depending on do you really need the new versions of new version of, of curl and the new features that it brings. Uh, let's see what else can we get. Um, file system stuff that goes with the kernel. Um, firmware stuff that goes with the kernel as well. Don't download that if you're on uh, 6.12. Um, what else can we find here? Uh, I'm just scrolling very fast. You can stop the video if you want. You can go to this web page to see for yourself. Um, LibreOffice, I saw it. I have actually installed the latest version of LibreOffice. I haven't come to that one just yet, but it should be listed soon. Libre, 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 Libre. It should be here somewhere. There we go, LibreOffice. So. Um, the version of LibreOffice that uh, ships with Debian 13 is from the beginning of the year 2025, uh, and this one is the next version that came out uh, fairly recently. Uh, so I have installed that one because I work in LibreOffice quite a lot, especially for my work, and I kind of uh, like to have uh, the latest features uh, that I can use. Uh, there is a lot of LibreOffice dependencies around here. I'm just going to skip all that to show you what's more um, available, you know, what is being on offer, right? So Linux headers that go with the kernel. There is a lot of dependencies around the kernel, of course. Uh, so if you're updating the Linux kernel, you're going to have to pay attention to what exactly you're downloading, like the kernel, the, the headers maybe, if you're compiling the firmware stuff. Uh, all that good stuff all, all comes in a package. Um, man pages, uh, you don't really need those. Uh, new versions of Mesa, 
uh, if you're downloading, if you're upgrading the kernel because of your graphics card, which is most likely a Radeon, um, then most likely you're going to need the new Mesa uh, libraries. So you have that as well. Uh, some network card stuff here. Um, if you are virtualizing Debian, you might need the latest OpenVM tools. Uh, what else is there? Interesting OpenSSH stuff. Pipewire, if you're having any issues with your sound, uh, maybe you will want to update the Pipewire stack. Uh, some Python stuff, if you need the latest Python for development, for whatever reason. I don't expect that Python developers would need the new Python in Debian. Usually you would go around getting the latest Python in a different way. And if you're a Python developer, you probably know what I'm talking about here. Uh, so let's just leave it at that for now. Uh, Samba, SATA modules, SCSI modules, um, some speech stuff. Uh, even more SSH. Do you need the latest SSH server? Uh, basically, the security patches are always backported uh, to the SSH version that ships with Debian. So, from the security st standpoint, you don't really need to update SSH server. Uh, but if there are some new functionalities that you need, then you might uh, think about it, about getting it from uh, backports. Uh, some more. Pipewire stuff, um, uh, ZFS. Okay, so ZFS is in Debian 13, but if you need the latest version of ZFS, you might as well get it uh, from backports. So from that perspective, it's really, it's really a good place to get new versions of software. Uh, so that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. It's not going to suddenly make your Debian 13 to become a Debian 14. If you really need to live on the bleeding edge of everything, then Debian stable is probably not something for you. However, if you occasionally need something that you would really, really benefit from having the latest version, then most likely someone else has already requested this from Debian maintainers and it has already uh, been placed available in Trixie backports. Um, if it's just not yet, uh, there is always a possibility for you to send an email to the maintainer of the package uh, whose version you need uh, to have the uh, latest version for whatever reason, give them your um, explanation on why, and there is a good chance that they will uh, make it available for you in backports. However, if the software that you need is not yet in backports and you are really, really shy in sending an email to the um, Debian package maintainer to provide it for you, there is always an option that you can do the backport on your own. More on that in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.